Good morning, fabulous people. It is the first day of Book Tubeathon. Uh, at 6.36 in the morning, I just, you know, only got two hours of sleep for some reason and had to wake up at 5.30 and get into a car and come to work. And I work is not starting until 7, but I still get here at like 6, 10 or something every time so that I can beat traffic and not be stuck in traffic for like an hour or anything like that. But anyway, so on my way here, I started listening to the audiobook of On a Pale Horse, which is the yellow covered book that is also older than me, so two of the challenges. I also brought Mistborn with me so that I can read it during my breaks, and I'm going to keep listening to On a Pale Horse while I'm working because for like most of the stuff that I do at work I can pretty much just like listen to audiobooks as much as I want to. Um, I was going to do the read a book only after sunset tonight um, but considering the fact that I only slept for two hours for whatever reason I'm not really sure how that happened um, I am actually going to just save that for Wednesday. Um, anyway yeah. What should showed up when I um, put in my band's new album on a like rough cut CD thing um, to import into my computer and it is definitely not called Ritine Remine Ya Odotusta that none of that is the song titles or anything but the songs are obviously what plays when I click on them, like the right songs. So yeah, now I have to like change the titles on there because that just looks really odd. Sorry if you can hear the dogs fighting in the background, but this is now day two of Booktubeathon. I didn't vlog anymore yesterday, I'm sorry about that. Um, but basically, um, when I got done with work, I went and hung out with one of my best friends who was in town last night with her husband and her dog, um, and we had loads of fun and went and walked in the park. But anyway, I'm already almost halfway through on a pale horse just from one day's audiobook listening, which is pretty crazy. Um, I got a little bit farther through Mistborn, so I'm going to, um, try and save the rest of On a Pale Horse for the next time I have to listen to an audiobook at work. But if I do finish it before then, I'll just figure out what other, um, what other books I plan on reading this week are available as audiobooks. Look at the sleepy puppy on his little pillow. This is my, uh, photo challenge for today's book tubeathon quote thing. Um, I was going to film the process of my making it and everything, but then I completely forgot to. Today is actually day three, so I feel really silly um, filming, you know, the first three days together because I meant to actually put up daily vlogs, but it just isn't working out that way. Um, so last night after I last um, updated y'all, um, I read a whole bunch more of Mistborn, but I'm still not done with it. And then I went to the movies to see Ghostbusters, and of course I read during the previews because that's just what I do. Um, and then I went to hang out with my fiancé, and I didn't read a ton more. So yeah, um, my goal is to at least finish Mistborn by tomorrow, well, but we'll see if that happens. Last night I was planning to do the read a book after sunset challenge, by reading this, which of course is Saga Volume 2, um, but that didn't happen because I was out um, with my fiancé and some friends all the way until midnight and I obviously was super super tired by the time I got home. Tonight I have band practice, so I guess it just really depends on when I get home and everything, um, whether or not I will um, read the, do the, do that challenge. <laughs> There is a dog sniffing my stuff. Must you sniff my stuff, dog? So band practice was awesome and now I got back and it is currently 10.30 or 10.25 rather, but same thing. So what I'm going to do is now that it is after sunset, I'm going to read Saga Volume 2 and this will complete the challenge of read a book after sunset and also the challenge of read a book that you discovered through BookTube. 